All right. In this problem, we are going to synthesize a bond graph for a rotational system. We first need to identify the distinct angular velocities. They exist here, where the input torque is, here, where the first gear is, and here, where the second gear is. So we're going to establish three one junctions. At the first one junction, we're going to have an input torque. So we'll place an effort source, which supplies the torque tau m. Also, at this one junction, we have both a rotational inertia and a bearing. So I'm going to place an I element off the one junction to represent the rotational inertia J. And then I'll place an R element to represent the bearing with damping constant should be beta 1. From here, we have another distinct angular velocity at the end of the shaft where we have the first spur gear and a bearing. So I'll place a one junction here. I'll also place an R element to represent the bearing. And this one should have a damping constant beta 2. I have one more one junction. At this one junction, I just have a bearing. And this bearing has a rotational damping constant of beta 3. Now I'm going to insert my 1 and my 2 ports. Between the first two angular velocities, I've got a shaft. So, off of a zero junction, between these, I'm going to place a C element to represent the compliance of my shaft. And the compliance there will be 1 over kappa. Between the next set of one junctions, I've got a transformer that represents my gear pair. And the gear pair is going to have a gear ratio of N1 divided by N2. Next, I need to assign my power directions. It's my input torque that's supplying power to my system. So I'll assign my power directions out in this fashion. Last, I have only one simplification to make. And that simplification arises due to the fact that I have this one junction with only two bonds. So in essence, what I can do is I can place this R element directly off the transformer. And there is my final bond graph for this.